Well, hello to everyone out there today. This is the City League Sports Show here. I'm your host, Dr. Vince Clarino. With me in the studio today are some of Whetstone High School's tennis players. I got Iris Blackburn. I got Eileen Lores. Am I saying that correctly? Without an S. Without an S. Lore. Without an S. Lore. Like sore. But Lore without an S. I got it. And of course, the legendary coach, Bucky Walters, is in the studio with us today. We're going to start over here to my right. Go ahead and say hello to everybody. Say your name. Say hello. Say what grade you're in. Let everybody get a chance to know you. Hi, my name is Iris Blackburn. I am a senior at Columbus Alternative High School. Nice. Coach, it's on you. Coach Bucky Walters, I'm a senior citizen. <laughs> senior citizen. Went I to Whetstone. Did coached, you really? I did. Oh, wow. I, I don't think I ever knew that. I've known you for probably Baseball, basketball. Years. Okay, okay. Okay, what position did you play in baseball when you were a young guy running Short around? Shortstop and second base. That means you were pretty good. And then. a five foot tall in 10th grade, I was point guard. <laughs> there you go. I was one of the smallest kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you was a shortstop and second base, you were pretty good. You had to be able to... Stop those balls in the infield. And then we're coming over to you, young lady. Say hello to all our listeners out there. Hi, my name's Eileen. I'm a senior at Whetstone. Eileen, I'm a senior at Whetstone. Mm-hmm. Two of the best smiles we've had on the show in a long time. So listeners, today we're going to talk um, a little bit about Whetstone tennis, which seems to just have been, um, you know, for us as a, as a league on the top of the mountain for a really long time. I don't know you. I think you've maybe won, Coach, and we'll, and we'll kind of dive with We'll start with you and dive into it. You've won 10, 12, 13, I don't know what the number is, consecutive league titles. Um, and you've seen a lot of kids. So, so when do you become the coach? Give us a little background. Let people get to know you a little bit. Uh, we have won 14 straight. Wow. Okay. Um, in fact, we had some girls on the team that had, weren't even born yet when the string, string started. String started, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I believe it also comes out to um, 17 out of the last 19 years. So we... Had a couple trips in there. Okay. But uh, I can't even tell you how long I've been at the school. I've also coached at Brookhaven, Northland. Um, you're one of our legends. And I don't know I, if you I've know that, but you are. No. You, you are. You're, you're one of our legends. I mean, um, the commitment that, that individuals like yourself have Oh, Leonard made McKinley? Is, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I brought like, you back know, the, the, there, yeah. the, the, the commitment that individuals like you have made to what we do here athletically speaks volumes to young people. I mean, you know, your, your your list of kids that you've coached is tremendous. And now we got two of your finest sitting here with us today, right? Um, so tell me a little bit, Eileen, we'll start with you. When, when do you start tennis? When, when when did this become a thing for you? You're a senior now. So like, tell me about your tennis journey a little bit. Yeah. So my sibling was on the team before me. Okay. Um, older sister or older brother? Older sister. Older sister. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because you're the Um, boys' coach also, right? Yep. Okay, so older sister. Uh, I joined freshman year. Okay. Uh, My mom actually made me join. I didn't want to (laughs) join. Ah, I love parents (laughs) out there, right? Got to get into something. Yeah, Yeah, I wasn't very sporty at all, but I went to my first practice, and I got back in the car, and I was like, I want to do this. Oh, wow. This is what I want to do. So what happened at the first (laughs) practice that that, that sold you after day one? You you don't typically hear that experience, Coach. So what happened after the first day? I mean, I think I I just started hitting around the ball, and I was like, I kind of just like the feel for this. And everyone okay. on the team was super nice. Like, I remember this girl named Scarlett. She was the first one who talked to me, and she was like, I like your hair. Nice. Like, oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> and is Scar- I take it Scarlett was older than you? Yeah, she's... She's a sophomore, I think, in college now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so that speaks volumes for you, coach, about a culture that you've built. Did Did you know that story before she just told it? Just recently. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that I mean, after her first practice, she yeah. was sold just recently a part of the that, team. Yeah. Okay. So so mm-hmm. let's turn over here to you, right, Iris? So you, you tell me a little bit about um, your experience. When do you start playing tennis? You got the you got the tennis logo <laughs> on. You, feel, you, you you look you look the part. So you got the tennis looks like you're ready to go out and hit the tennis ball yeah, around. T-shirt, championship. Yeah, she's got yes. yes. the yeah. yeah. Well, unlike Eileen, I actually started sophomore year and. I did a couple of camps when I was little, but nothing really to solid to a full commitment. Right. And I, I remember when I first hit the ball and it just like kept flying out. I just kind of <laughs> just kept like I just said to myself, why isn't this ball going into the day yeah. court? Like get it in. And I don't know. I just started focusing really hard on trying to just get it in the court and found 
At first, I found the rules rather annoying and confusing. And I think they are for most people, to <laughs> yeah. be honest. So, so let's just I be was clear. studying but before yeah. my first practice. I was like reading. Going? Yeah, I was watching videos. I was reading articles of what the rules were. And it was it's one of those games that you really have to just play to really understand the rules. Yeah. Even some of the games, I get confused some of the times. Certainly. But, but yeah, no, I just I'm I'm very thankful for having a very uh supporting family with continuing my practice mm. and a supportive coach with allowing me practice to allow practicing with a the knowledgeable guys. coach too this guy knows the game yeah so yeah. i just really love the sport and quickly grew a passion for it and okay. that's where i am right now so so you said something so so help us out here right let, let give the kindergarten version of scoring <laughs> who wants to dive in oh. on that one like like i think most people who watch tennis don't really know how the scoring works. So let's let's give everybody a little tutorial. What's the kindergarten version of scoring? Well, everyone start both opponents start off at zero or love in that way. Okay. And there's some history behind that, but I won't go into it. Yeah, that yeah. We yet. don't we want the kindergarten version. <laughs> yeah. This is the so five year old off version. With love, and then we jump to fifteen if if you win the first point. Then you go up to thirty and then you go up to forty and then officially you go up to 45, but you don't actually say 45. You just say game. That's the end of that. Oh, match. so again, I never knew that. So so you win with 45 per se. Every every game is one. Like, I mean, with, with without the win by two thing or whatever it is, you win with no, 45 close. points. Okay. <laughs> I'm close. Okay. The real kindergarten version is the first one to four points wins. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, four points wins. Four points. And it goes, like she said, 15, 30, 40. There's no 45. Okay. And in the oh. French English version, uh oh, now it makes getting, no sense. We're getting a little bit complex here. I put my hands up to surrender. Yeah, it makes no sense. Yes, indeed. So to understand it, don't. All right, you know, you're trying to get four points. <laughs> trying to get four points. Takes and a the lot 15, of 30, 40, just go. Something with from there. And now, but if you get to four points, and then somebody else also has four points, don't you got to win by two? What's or that called? Yep, it's called deuce. Deuces. Yep. Deuce. Deuce. And then if you deuce. win that point, I keep adding s's. So every time that. Eile speaks, I add an S. So I add an S to your last name. I'm adding an S to deuces, but it's deuce, deuce. singular. Yep. Yep. No mm -hmm. deuces. Got you. Okay. And then from deuce, if you win a point, it's add in. You have the advantage. Oh, wow. We're going to, right. Is there, are, are there timeouts in tennis? We're moving up to first grade uh, level. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no timeouts in tennis? Uh-uh. Oh, wow. I didn't know you, that. The coach can intervene and give you some tips only if the score is odd. If. Only if the scores are wow. So we're going to stop right there with the tutorial on the scoring. Yeah, it's, it'll mess up. Right, yeah, 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 because I think it's getting a bit complex. But I think everyone can clearly kind of, if you're watching, we just know who the winner is because the winner typically throws their hands in the air and <laughs> smiling, right? Yeah. That's typically the way it's it works. It's actually rather interesting seeing people win. Like there's either the very, I guess, very, um, how would I say it? Um courteous people out there that okay. are very, like they will shake your hand they will like clink the rackets with you and then there's yeah. some people that will just give you the nastiest eye out, out oh there, wow for sure. i don't i don't want to hear that about the sport yeah. I, th I think we'll stick with the fun stuff so 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 let's talk a little bit about now for the two of you are, are you like tennis junkies now is this your thing <laughs> do you play a lot do you enjoy it free time where, 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 where do you sit ali we'll start with you in, um, in the world of tennis i and I mostly played during the seasons. Um, I only started doing lessons last winter. Okay. It was just like with 50 other kids or something. Yeah. Um, but I do like going out and hitting the ball. I, I just don't do it as often. Okay. Okay. I get it. Iris, what about you? Well, last year I was pretty committed. I would play three, four times a week. Oh, wow. And okay. now I've kind of dwindled down playing once a week with the adults. Okay. Which is quite a change. Yeah, <laughs> they are very aggressive and very powerful. So you got to be quick at your game. Yeah, when you get older, you want to hold on to those little bit of wins left in life. So if we get a chance to <laughs> to beat some young person, I think we feel pretty good. I, I have a, a high school age son and who, who, you know, he plays basketball. He always wants to play me in basketball. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue to still beat him. Coach. You know what I mean? He's getting yeah. pretty good. <clears throat> and I, either he's getting faster or I'm getting slower. I haven't figured out which one of them it Maybe is. Both. It, it might be both, which in turn, when I can get a chance to beat him, as you were just sharing, I'm pretty happy about those wins when I get a chance to beat him. So, and coach, it's not a cold weather sport. 
the ball won't yeah. bounce if it's cold. Oh, so mm. unless you can go indoors, it, it's hard to play year round. Yeah, which which is a little bit different probably for here. You know, being in a state like Ohio, obviously, right. very difficult. seasonal type sport because I'm sure there's not a lot of indoor tennis facilities throughout the city. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So so and, coach, and it's oh. expensive. <laughs> oh, I yes. bet it's big time indoors. Okay. Yeah. To so just get cuts out a lot of people, a lot of kids. Yeah. So, Coach, how, how long have you like 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 where does your tennis start come from? How long have you been? I mean, we heard theirs. They kind of, you know we got a sophomore and a yeah. I was baseball, basketball. Uh, my coaching is baseball, basketball, soccer. Um, I picked up tennis at the age of forty eight. Oh wow! Okay, so real late in life. I thought you were only forty eight now. <laughs> uh, I wish is. Yeah. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Indeed. Um, so I picked it up late, and I, I what I love most about it is it's, to me it's like a game of chess. And I love out thinking people. That's why I like basketball. So I like yeah. soccer. Yeah, I want to counteract what they're doing and do my own thing. And I like it because uh, there's a, a, an individual part to it as well, too. Certainly. And so I like that. Um, I like coaching it because just the the thrill people have of finally getting something. Yeah. There's, none, there's nothing like that. Certainly. And it's not an easy sport to learn. It takes some time. What's the what's the thing to get a kid to stick with it? I mean, like, because I, I've heard kids who try some of those challenging sports, tennis being one of them, um, not a lot of instant gratification. So how, so how do you keep a kid interested in, for, for anybody that's out there listening, a parent, a kid, a coach, how, how do you keep somebody interested in playing when they're having those initial challenges in the beginning? You mentioned it earlier, is the surrounding, the people, mm. the team, the concept, how, how are they... Uh, how are other people addressing you when you first show up? Yeah. And they're not laughing and making fun of you. Okay. You know, I got a lot of kids going over help and taking part of their time going to help you. They'll, they'll pick kids. It's like in the lunchroom, somebody's sitting by themselves. Mm -hmm. Go sit with them. Yeah. Well, you're seeing that in tennis. Right. Okay. So just that air of, you know what? We're here. We'll, we'll help you and we'll teach you. And Figure it out a little bit. And who doesn't want to be a part of that? Right. Yeah. So, well, I, I just know that um, kids in athletics, sometimes it can be a challenge when you're playing a sport that is maybe a little bit harder to grab a hold of. And um, tennis being one of those things where you don't maybe get a lot of exposure as a kid. So when you're trying it for the first time in high school, I bet it can be pretty intimidating. Yeah. But you have two here today who are validation that, hey, look, you can start in high school and have a good time and stick with it. Um, I think I read also both of you are maybe like multi-sport students. You guys do some other stuff as well. I did one season of track. That's it. One, OK, so so what, what 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 ran you away from track? Then? <laughs> Pun intended, right? What ran you away from I, track? I like running. I did not like the concept of competitive running. I just like running at my own pace and just taking in the air. So okay. I was long distance. So, OK, yeah, I just okay. like going on the bike path and just running back and forth and yeah, in the surroundings. I'm not really worried about my pace. Got you. OK, what about you, Eileen? Um, Sports wise, not much. I did like a month of wrestling. Ah, tennis and that. wrestling. There's the, that's a, <laughs> there you go. That, that's, that's on one end of the, of the scale, right? I'm, I'm wrestling over I here and I'm doing tennis on the other it side. It only lasted a month for a reason. I, okay. I'm not fit for that. Okay. <laughs> Did you do lacrosse? Oh, we're trying to make a team, but it's... I thought you already played. No. Okay. So you so you did a month of wrestling, yeah, and then and then like like what was it about wrestling that wasn't the thing? Because here you both sit here as kind of new tennis players to the to the sport, mm -hmm. and yet you try some other things that you realize maybe weren't um, the space for you. So what was it about wrestling that maybe wasn't the thing? I don't have the aggression I need for it, okay. for sure. Okay. Um, yeah, it can get pretty rough out there. I have yeah. had wrestlers. I don't mean to stop you for a moment, <laughs> but I've had wrestlers on this show, and I and I say this. I didn't know enough about wrestling, Coach, until I got into the role that I'm in today. You gotta be uh, a tough. Oh, you yeah. gotta be tough to wrestle. I, I, I didn't know this. I thought you know football players were tough, and I thought basketball players were mm -hmm. tough. No, no, no. Wrestlers mm -hmm. are tough because when you're out there on the mat and it's you and it's another person, and and it's just you know it, it's the sheer like you talked about the aggression. Um, you gotta be you 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 gotta be pretty dialed in. To compete, and, and that's where, at least in my opinion, I, I don't know what maybe others think, but you said you didn't have the aggression. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was a little difficult. I, at the time when I was doing it, I liked it. I liked having more muscle for sure. Okay. Um. <laughs> can 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 you weight lift for for tennis? Is that a thing? You can. I mean, you can. Yeah. Just 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 
Did, did y'all? We have no. so much, so <laughs> more we're trying on. to do. That's okay. not our main yeah. focus. Okay. He always says that we're going to do conditioning. Gotcha. So being in, so being in the gym is not not necessarily a big thing in the world. It is on a different it level. Is. On a different. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I go to the gym. Okay. All right. But you were you doing it specifically <laughs> because you were trying to connect it to playing better? A little bit, but I actually found out that it's not really focused on as much muscle mass, but how you control your core and how much of the weight of your body is distributed when playing mm. tennis. You like study it, don't you? I, I, like, 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 like your answers are pretty study intense. You know what I mean? I'm just, it's, I'm conditioned from that, not because of tennis, but because of school. Okay. I have to write a lot of essays and a lot of academic papers and I'm just conditioned to kind of speak that way if you don't okay. mind me <laughs> no 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 you can't no you can't bother me I I, I mean I was, I was, yeah when I'm talking with Eileen it's just it's pretty casual okay so. <laughs> well, and you can be casual here I mean let me share it with you um I, I know what it's like to be uh you know big per se as a student athlete when I was a kid um you know I, I was a student I graduated from Columbus Walnut Ridge uh, you know, I was on a roll student. I had straight A's. I was in AP classes. Um, I look back on it and didn't really realize what you have to have. So, so as you all sit here today, um, Ali, I think one, which one of you are doing some courses at Ohio State? Ali, Ali, you're doing you're doing some classes at Ohio State. You're in the seniors to sophomore program, mm -hmm. um, and then you're obviously taking courses at, at Cos. I mean, you, you, I'm an you Ivy diploma it. candidate. Okay, so nice. Your IB diploma candidate. So you, so you guys are. <laughs> what? Well, that's right. the official title. It, it I know. Is. It's just wow. the but, way but, you said that. But one you guys are high academic achievers. So, so share with all of our listeners out there. How do you balance it out? How, how, how do you balance a heavy well, academic there's a load? Common, there's a common notion at our school saying that like, you have to have some sort of outlet to balance out your schoolwork. Whether you're an IB student, you're CCP, you're you don't you're Fort Hayes, you could be anyone. And as long as you have that outlet, for me, it's tennis. E schoolwork is a lot easier. You know, I come back from school and usually I have to move around. I have to get some, I have to get my body moving yeah. from sitting around all day. And tennis is the perfect sport for that. I just walk on over, bike on over, play around with amazing people. Yeah. And I'm kind of refreshed and I can go back home and focus more on my but, studies. But let me re-ask the question. I, I, I'm, I'm more interested in you sharing how, how is it you maintain high academic achievement and also play a sport time management okay so yeah sure. so, so so share some of that because i would have to guess you commuting every day and going to osu i'm taking it for classes you're, you're showing up at a whetstone time management share a little bit about that um so for me i'm also in marching band so that's during the tennis season oh, so i okay. have school band and tennis all at the same time mm -hmm. So that so you get there at about three o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> and you stay there just all night long then basically at Whetstone. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> well, also right. Bucky's very liberating with practices and yeah. accommodating to people sure. that are in band. So okay, thank you. So when they start summer, they're there nine to noon <laughs> for band practice. Okay. Eight. Then they come to meet for a few. And we're talking <laughs> 80, 90 degree heat. So they're right. out there five hours a day. Yeah. So it's. It's a lot. So, so when are you doing your coursework? When, when, when are you guys keeping up with your classwork? Um, because I, because students yeah. that students that don't handle it as well as you, I often hear that that is their challenge. So, so when are you guys doing your doing your coursework? I definitely I leave out my Sundays. Sundays oh, okay. that is my homework day. But other than that, I a lot of the times after classes I'll go to the library and do my work there. Okay, do some studying. All right. What about I'm you? not as consistent with doing schoolwork. So okay. if I know there's a day where I'm like, I cannot do this, I will kind of visually map up, map out my time schedule and just kind of say, okay, today is a break. And then tomorrow I might grind out and that's fine. Um, How many hours is a grind out session of studying? Three, four hours. Three, four hours. Okay. I'm just curious. Everybody, I hear it differently. So I'm just curious. Okay. Yeah. Three, four hours, bang out a few couple hours of studying <laughs> and getting some work done. Also, I mainly work at school, like at, at lunchtime. I usually go up to my teachers. I do mm. some work. I ask for help on these assignments and kind of, I just went up to two of my teachers today to ask yeah. for help. So that's okay. mainly what I do at school. Just do some work. Coach, I'm going to come back to you. you. You've been coaching tennis at Whetstone for as long as I can remember. Mm. You're <clears throat> probably 15 plus years of coach. Is I that fair so. to say? Yeah. yeah. Um, what's the special sauce? Why, why does it work at, 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 at Whetstone? T tell me, tell me what, tell me what the McDonald's 
Big Mac special sauce is at Whetstone <laughs> that makes it keep working for you? I don't think it's just Whetstone. When I was over at Linden, we hadn't had a team in years. Okay. I said, I want to start a tennis team. And the uh, principal, no, you know, well, it's not going to happen. Don't, don't waste your time. Today. Yeah. No, let's do it. And we got a team going. And um, I think it's just a matter of, of getting the kids to get involved in something maybe that they would have never done. Okay. You get them in class. You get to know them. You get a feel for what they're at, where they're at. But you're not still teaching, are you? No, I retired. Okay, right, okay. Um, teaching tennis. But even now, yeah. <laughs> you know, we've got a, a, a year-round program. So yeah. we do the season. And then we've got indoor capabilities if they want to play indoors. We have a summer program where they got to get up at seven thirty in the morning once a week. Mm. Then we're then we got another day where it's at late afternoon. We're we're in the heat. Certainly. So who wants to do that? But they're they find a commitment. They find something they want to do. They find they see their improvement. They just keep coming back, and then the word gets around. We had twenty girls this year. We're the only wow. school that has a JV. Yeah, they have a full JV schedule, and they're playing a lot of the other suburban schools. Certainly to get a schedule. So. No, you're holding back on us, Coach. You, you know why I say that? Because you just shared, you said while you were also at Linden, you were able to develop and form a tennis team. Mm -hmm. So so what is it? T tell, sh share with us, how, how are you getting young people to come out and participate in a, in a sport that at, at, at a location where I think, I think some people would probably say, right, if we're just speaking candid, some people would say, yeah, sure, tennis works at Whetstone, right? I mean, that, that, that. That, yeah, yeah, you know, and, and I know that, I yeah. hear it. But you just shared that you had tennis going at Linden as well. So, 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 what is it? What, what, what's the, what, what, what would you say is your special sauce that's that's able to gravitate to kids to get them to to be interested in participating? I think, uh, and I might even write take notes on this because I've been I've been trying to figure out some of that special sauce for years myself. I have a genuine love and concern for these kids. Mm, okay, and in doing so. Because it's genuine, I think kids will gravitate towards that. Okay. And that's what I've found, even at the other high schools I've been at, that they generally want, this guy cares. Yeah. He's serious. No doubt. Okay. I know I suck. Right. But I'll give it a shot. Okay. And it's not that hard. I love it. I mean, hey, if that's all it takes, coaches, take a good listen to what he just shared with you. Um, and, and you've heard me. You, you've heard me share a similar message, though. That um, it has to begin with just having it. You know, for me, I, I, I get that people will get into this whole notion of, um, you know, how many can, you know, did, did our teams win these games and that games, and whether or not we're competitive for, and those things. But um, there are much more wins, much bigger wins, and different wins than whether or not we go out and we have the, the highest score at the end of a competition, right? Um, and, and so I see wins differently. I know that sometimes I might rub people the wrong way with that, but 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 to me, when, you, when, you, when you're a former educator, and I think that's one of the things that has changed. I, not, not, now look, you two, I don't want to bore you. Coach and I are talking educational <laughs> stuff here. Listeners, I don't want to bore you. But when you're a former classroom teacher, I think we just see it a little bit differently. Yeah. And um, I know some people who come in who maybe have never sat in the classroom and, and maybe shared some of those things in, in that journey all they see is wins and losses, right? So, so I get that as a as a piece of special <clears throat> sauce here. Now, um, what what's next? So, so we'll, we'll kind of go around. Isla, you tell me what's next for you. Iris will come to you. You guys are both seniors, yeah. class of twenty four students. Is that is that right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so this is it for you. You're kind of winding down. I don't know if you've been told this yet, right? But like, it's like five months away. As, say as that. A, yeah, it's like it's like say it's that. like five months away. Like I, I give a little groove for you. It's like five months away. Um, so what's next for you? Um, I know she told me we just had our banquet recently that she wanted to look into being a manager of a White Castle, and I think that's oh my god, <laughs> no, that's some good Absolutely stuff. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, hey, you know what? <laughs> Hey, I, I, so funny. there's some there, there's some castle lovers out there. And if you're from Columbus, yes, and if you're from Columbus, uh, castles holds a special place in some people's hearts. But 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 but, but what do you think about what's next for you? What, what, what do you do as you transition through high school? Um, looking back on it, you know, so, so I'll give you a two part question for both of you. What's next? And then looking back to you, you to your high school time, what has tennis meant to you? Um, well, what's next for me? Um, 
applying to colleges right now. Okay. I applied to a few, the ones that had early action. Uh, top school right now is Michigan. Oh, U of M. Okay. Yeah. My daughter yeah. goes to U of M. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, hey, man, uh, you, you, you of M, I hear, is a pretty good school, man, I so I, I, I get it. But, yeah, no, you, you I, I think if you, if, if you know, if that's the route you go and it works out for you, mm-hmm. I think you'll like it. And Ann Arbor is actually a pretty – I know it's yeah. tough to talk about that right now, but Ann Arbor is actually <laughs> a pretty, pretty nice place. Yes, it's a pretty nice place. I've been there more times than I could have imagined I would be, but it's a pretty nice place. Yeah, I, I want to major in pre-med. Okay. I don't have that biology. Um plan to go to medical school, be an obstetrician. Okay. Look at you. Okay. <laughs> my lifelong draw my lifelong goal of being a doctor. Okay. Well, that's um, a long journey. Yeah. So for um, sure. Got a so, lot more school. So yeah, so so kind of be mentally prepared on what yeah. that journey looks like. And um so but what has tennis meant to you? Tennis along al- 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 where, where, where where does tennis sit as you reflect back on high school? Tennis has overall made me a more confident person, I would say. Mm, nice. Uh, tennis is such a mind sport. Okay. If you need to go onto that court and be confident. If you're not confident, you are not going to be doing well. Okay. Anything you mess up, you're going to just, like, hate yourself for it. Yeah. And I think that I have sc- struggled a lot with that, with tennis. Um, but I have definitely learned how to stay, take a step back and realize, mm. like, I can get back up from it. Yeah. Which has made me more confident. I can do that, take that lesson, and bring it to other things in life. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and let me share. I'm not expecting either of you at 17 or 18 years old to know your your next 15 years like I did. <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. You, don't, don't, you certainly don't have to have that plan. Um, I think I woke up once at several times and I said, what am I going to do when I'm growing up? And I and that was like when I was 28, when I was 35, <laughs> when I was 40. You know what I mean? I kept waking up and asking, what am I going to do when I become a grown up? So um, the life journey isn't something you have to have all figured out for you right now, but you do need a plan, right? Because as I shared, it's five, six months away. So what, what what do you think is next for you, Iris? And then what has tennis meant to you? Well, yeah, similar to Eileen, I'm also applying to colleges as well. Nice. Okay. Uh, not by many, but a couple. I've did some, some early action. Are you trying to get away from home? Or are you trying to stick around this area? Uh, no, I, I like staying in here. I okay. Mean, Central Ohio, some, something to that nature? Yeah. Okay. I haven't really explored much of out of state except okay. a couple of schools. Yeah. And, and and there's a lot of great universities here in Central Ohio. So right. you don't you don't have to leave for this undergrad area. I'd rather save my money and then grad school. Okay. Supposedly if I go. Yeah. Then I might spend a couple bucks. Certainly. Um, just <laughs> or, a couple. Just a couple, you know. <laughs> um as what I plan on doing, it's really moving around right now. I <sighs> I'm kind of tossing between two majors that are very polar with each other, and that is economics and linguistics. Oh, yeah, very. (laughs) Specifically, I'm more interested in, I guess, how law and legislation can be interpreted through language and how the sentence structures could be formatted for people, all all kinds of people to understand. Any PhD candidates out there, if you're interested in a (laughs) dissertation topic, there, there goes one for you. Yeah, like economics, I'm just kind of really, I, I've worked, I have entered in nonprofit organizations okay. and I've, I really, I'm interested in how the market works with that and just kind of the, the economy of the state. So nice. that's, that's kind of my, my focus right now and kind okay. of what I'm, what I have to say about college for what tennis means. Mom and dad, you got a thinker on your hand over here. <laughs> so make sure you're giving some great conversational pieces at the dinner table. This young lady's mind is, is, is uh, is 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 forward thinking on different topics. So, what has tennis meant to you? <sighs> that's a that that's a tough question. Mm, <laughs> to really? Think about. Yeah, I it means so much to me. So you just broke down like an economics, <laughs> law, market, advanced system, linguistics, <laughs> all of these things. And the what has tennis meant to you is the hard question. That's it's, that's beautiful. Okay, just, I'm glad I could stump you then, right? You know <laughs> what I mean, Coach. What, what has tennis meant to you? I mean, the community is amazing. It really has. Also, like Eileen, has increased my confidence, and mm. it has also kind of been part of my identity, my persona. Okay. I talk, like, whenever I mention about tennis to my friends, I always talk about it, and <laughs> I joke about with some friends, like, they, we might hang out one day, and I said, oh, I can't, and they're like, oh, is it tennis? And oh, I was like, wow. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. So 
it's just, it's something I really love. I like, I kind of <clears throat> like how the ball bounces around the courts <clears throat> and looking at the opponents and kind of how their form of like hitting the ball is. And I like observing that and kind of seeing like, if I may have a day where none of my serves go in, but then all of a sudden something clicks with me and then I'm just like, wow, that this is something I really love. And it's kind of like, it's a refresher for the sport. It's yeah. Like some, it's kind of addicting. you like, you always want that Eureka moment. Certainly. Wow. I mean, those are great answers. I mean, and I'll share with you that um, for sports and coach, you've probably seen this, but, but with different athletes, it doesn't have to be tennis. It can be football, basketball, baseball, whatever you're choosing to participate in. It can always kind of be that, um, that other vice. Like friends, friends will get to know, right? Like mm. friends will say, like, oh, what are you, are you, what are you doing? You're playing basketball. What are you doing? You know, you're wrestling. Th those things become a part of kind of like our makeup, yeah. as you shared, and 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 that's cool because um, at some point, you know, uh, it, it stops. Tennis is one of those things, though. As coach shared, at 48, you can find and keep on playing, right? You 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 can play for a yeah, lifetime. That's my motivation. You know, too. in a sport like tennis, um, coach, you've been doing this a long time. You 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 you're gonna close us out of here before we uh before we get to these two young ladies here, but um on the tennis topic, you know tell 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 me what you see, what are you doing here moving forward tennis wise? Well, just about these two, they started with nothing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. most people who are successful in high school tennis, they started when they were elementary school when they played yeah. years and years. These Time out. Hold on. We got to get a story in. Tell me about the beginning of the season. I forgot <laughs> to ask that question. What happened at the beginning of the season here that you guys did for, for Coach here? All right. I'm a very serious. I don't like having fun. I don't like messing around. No, I'm teasing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. they show yeah. up at practice looking exactly like me. <laughs> These two specific. They had gotten this... Yes. Okay. <laughs> Dressed up in exactly what I wear. Oh, wow. They had the mustache going. They, I'd had no the idea this was going on. on. A bald cap going. I mean, oh, it was absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, I've got pictures. I mean, it was just, and they they just do stuff like that. Just good for you all. The personalities on this team are just out of this world. Yeah. And that's what makes it fun for me. I, and I told them at the banquet, there wasn't one day I didn't look forward to coming to practice. Right. And it, Wow, good for you. So it was, it was just we we beyond we, we need copies of that, right? We need. I'm, I'm looking in the back. We need <laughs> copies of that. Yeah, no, no, we no, got no. We'll, it's going to be our public persona. It. People will see. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. We need copies <laughs> of that. We so, had like a little spirit week, kind of, mm -hmm. and that was they did their own. I never knew. Oh, about good for yep. you guys. You 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 you've turned it into um, your own thing at the same time being able to learn and love the sport. Um, one of the things I love to do on this show is we do shout outs. They've given me the signal. We got to start to wrap it up here. I told you 30 minutes goes by pretty <laughs> quickly, right? Um, Ali, we'll start with you. Say whatever you want to say to get us out of here, and um, this will be this will be your last thought. Share whatever you want to share. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that our team, we have such a big team, and everyone is so closely connected. Mm. It feels like this big family. We have little traditions that we do. There used to be a sleepover, but that's stopped after COVID. Okay. But especially our varsity team, the seven of us were very close. Seven seniors? Us. Seven, no. Oh. no. Okay. It was How many seniors? seniors? Three seniors. Three okay. seniors. Okay. Our first single is Maybelline. She's killing it. She's a sophomore or junior now? Junior. She's okay. a junior <laughs> now. So she'll be a senior next year. Good for her. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's one of our Probably she is our best player, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Um, yeah. Give her a little shout out. Yeah. Hi, Iris, it's on hey. you. What do you got here? <laughs> uh, I really like Whetstone tennis team. Like it's very unique in multiple ways, but due to the fact that our team is so large, not only just the varsity but the JV, it makes people that have no prior experience to tennis have a much comforting and easier transition into playing the sport and being welcomed mm -hmm. on the team. Yeah. Um, some schools, there's official tryouts that if you, you either make or break the team. Yeah, I And get it. here it's, if you like, here, come practice, you're on the team. Certainly. <laughs> have fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Here's a racket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you all have been um, great guests here today. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to share a couple pieces, which, you know, for me have been um, enjoyment, enjoying to listen to. Um, but all our coaches and parents out there, uh, coach, you shared something today about genuine care. Um, that's spot on. 
that's that that's that's perfect as like a theme for our show. I just want coaches that care. Like, and I think young people will mm-hmm. gravitate to to coaches that that genuinely care. We got a former uh, wrestler. And a former cross country <laughs> runner, right? Yeah, look, hey, look, we got a former wrestler and a former cross country runner who found their passion on the tennis court. Um, I'm going to do the outro here and get us out of here. Been a fun, fun show. Um, maybe one day I'll come. I'm not, I can't serve, right? So I, I got all these sports that I say I'm going to come out and participate in, but I'm not that good, so I can't serve. So if you can just, if all I have to do is just uh, return the whole time, I can return. I just can't serve, right? So do you get points if you're not serving? Yeah, you oh, okay, then I, yeah. then I can just sit there and not be the person serving the whole time and can maybe get some points we'll that way. Yeah. No, 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 I'm, I'm asking to never serve is what I'm saying. I'll, we'll, we'll switch serve the rules up. Figure out a way yeah, we'll figure out like some different rules. Coach, go ahead. One more thing. Yes, indeed. That we do, uh, we've made a uh, tradition. The parents <laughs> play the kids at the end of the year. Oh, wow. And we're playing singles and doubles yeah. over at the Whetstone Park, and it's just a riot. I'll bet that is a and, good time. Uh, it's, it's nice. Every comes. The parents are loving it. They're thinking they're going to kill their kids. And yeah. <laughs> sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. I'll bet. I'll bet. It's just nice to that. bring it all together. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. That, that sounds like a great way to end yeah. the season. Um, but today we're going to get out of here, and, and we got to end the show. So to our guests today, you all have been a blast. Thank you for coming and joining thank us here. Thank you for having us. This has us. been a fun show. Um, thank you for listening. Much respect to you. Uh, be sure to catch all future episodes on Radio WCBE 90.5 FM. Catch us wherever you listen to your favorite podcast, Spotify, Apple. We were talking about this stuff earlier. I have no <laughs> idea where you find Spotify yet. It's out there someplace in the, in the social media world. Um, but follow us on Instagram at City League Sports 614. I'm your host, Dr. Vince Clarino. This is City League Sports.